what's up guys? Uh, today is... Yeah, I kind of left you guys hanging the other day. Um, what the heck is today? Today's Thursday. Thursday the 12th. Just left Rafine, Virginia. Uh, we were sitting at, I was sitting at the uh, Petro there. And... Um, put the trailer in the shop to get fixed. What is this car doing? Reaching in the back seat. Idiots. Anyway, stopped off in Rafine, spent the night there. They tried pulling me in at midnight. I knew I wasn't gonna get anything done at midnight. So I waited until this morning. Um, this morning, when I got pulled in, they pulled me in at 8.30. They didn't touch the trailer until 10.30. It pissed me off. They were like, oh, we just got approval. No, you didn't just get approval. 8 o'clock this morning, you had approval. Idiots. This is why I don't go to the TA Petro unless I absolutely need to. I was pretty much on the needed to. I was missing a mud flap. The uh, the bracket snapped off. They had a little uh, about brackets about four inches wide, long, deep. Yeah, wide. I guess um, two inches of it. It had a big two-inch crack on it. So I knew it needed to be welded. I didn't think it was going to fall off that easy, but the thing snapped right off. I don't know when and I don't know where, but it was gone. So I didn't have a mud flap all day yesterday. Damn it. We ended up going up to, uh, after we finished up calls on Sunday, they asked me to do one more run on Monday. Uh, I did that. Tuesday I took off. I had to do a restart. Yesterday was Wednesday. Went to Ping Binghamton and picked up a load of forklifts. I think they're the stand-up forklifts, like in the warehouse and stuff. Um, they're they're all laid down in the in the trailer in like crates, nailed down and whatnot. Uh, not bad rate on this one. It's a dollar ninety-eight loaded miles. Once I take my cut, it's it becomes not great money, and it becomes money that I don't like to make. Um, I think all, all after after it's broken down, I make like a dollar fifty-eight a mile, which sucks. But it's van freight; it's going south, and uh, my my main point on this load here is just to. Drop it off in Georgia, deadhead up to Chattanooga, and drop this trailer off. Uh, and get rid of this trailer, and then switch over to start doing the power only. My goal with power only is to do it for winter time. And um, after the weather picks up, I plan on going to get a trailer. And then immediately after that, I plan on going to get another truck. getting the snap deck like I wanted so uh, I just gotta I'm not in too much of a rush to jump into figuring out where I'm getting it right this second it's not gonna be until like March or April before I go get it um, but that's gonna be my future plans is running uh, power only during the winter time and running step deck during the better season um, so that's that on that we're on our way to, uh, it's just south of Atlanta. We're going to make. Mix something. McDonough? McDonough, Georgia. Man, I. Phone call after phone call. I'm trying to sort of bro, record a video. And usually it, it asks me keeps recording and asks me if I want to decline the call. Anyway, McDonough, Georgia, dropped us these 
forklifts off and then deadhead up to Chattanooga and start on the power only argue. Um, I did a video yesterday and a couple guys commented that I was putting dirty fuel back in. <laughs> inside the fuel bowl there was a circle cylinder in the center of that, that bowl that's where the fuel the clean fuel the filtered fuel the fuel that goes through that filter goes through so the fluid the fuel comes in goes through the filter and down that hole fuel that I dumped back in was over top of the filter. So that fuel that was already in the bowl waiting to be filtered was no cleaner than the fuel that's already coming into the filter. I wasn't dumping the, that, that fuel down into the fuel that's going into the motor. I'm dumping the fuel over top of the filter so that it, it can now be filtered through a clean filter. That filter in particular lasted me almost 60,000 miles. Actually, I think even longer than that. I didn't get it done on my last fuel, my last oil change. My last oil change is way over we're just going to leave it at that. Way overdue. So that, that, that fuel filter there, I'm betting I put about sixty to 75,000 miles on. I'd have to go back through the records and find out exactly when I did it. But I'm betting it's got at least that much. So anyway, at the Petro, we got a new brake drum, new shoes. Um, on one wheel and got a new mud flap and bracket welded on. Uh, it was like 700 and something dollars. I didn't pay it. Uh, F2F paid it. Because it was stuff that was wrong with the trailer before I got it. Um, yeah, 700, $736.65 cents. They also did a DOT inspection that had to be done. So, either way, no cost to me. I'm dropping the trailer off and uh, gonna switch over to power only. A lot of what I'm gonna end up doing on power only is picking up, uh, for example, Convoy has a has multiple loads that come down to Georgia. I don't know exactly what they're gonna be paying yet. I'm sure I can make it pretty decent amount coming down. We'll see. I'll see what I can get them for. Uh, but they, they come down to Georgia. I drop off a loaded, I pick up a preloaded trailer. I drop off the loaded trailer. I have to then pick up an empty trailer to bring back to PG and Tunkhannock. Uh, that empty trailer I can reload with either a convoy load or any load that I can get my hands on. So I can get full full rate coming back up and not having to pay a trailer expense or insurance. I just have to uh, just have to book the freight, bring it up. Book the freight, bring it up, and then go drop off the empty trailer. And I I mean they have a lot of them coming down. It's P and G to P and G, so it's it's a constant load that's going all the time. Um, so I, I'm sure I can get that quite a bit. Uh, 
that's the that's kind of the gist of what I plan on doing. Not necessarily just for PG, but there's a lot of companies that work that way. You know, going out to Indiana, Illinois, stuff like that, grab a load coming back and get full rate. So that's it for right now. I'll give you guys a quick show of the of that mud flap rack out now they did that. Um, other than that, we got 476 miles to go. We're supposed to arrive down there at 11:30. Plus, I'm going to need probably need a 30 minute break in between now and then. So 11:30, 12 o'clock. I can probably knock that down by half an hour. Probably still arrive down there around 12:30. So we'll see what happens. Good morning, guys. Uh, today's Friday. Yay, Friday. I wish I was going home. Um, yeah, Friday the 13th. So let's go take a quick look at that bracket. We're sitting here at the customer waiting to get unloaded. We got this guy over here in his red truck. Uh, as soon as he's done in the door, then... I get to pull in and I get to me. So yesterday we went to the shop and we got the uh, the brake changed and we got this new mud flap bracket. And I'm gonna spin it around. Just do this real quick. Ugh. So they just welded it on there. You can see where the other one had just snapped off. I hope you can make that out. But it just it just snapped right off, so they welded this bracket on for uh, for the new mud flap, and that didn't take them no time at all. The brake took them forever. Apparently, it cammed over, and he went through a bunch of hell. There's the load. See, uh, man, it's just some stand-up forklifts. No big deal. I don't know exactly how they're going to do it, but I'm sure they're just going to pick them up and slide them out and stand them up and they'll be good to go. So that's it. Um, so as we're done getting unloaded here. The uh, dead heading up to Chattanooga. Drop this trailer off. And then uh, off to uh, power only until the winter's over. So I'm going to end it here today. Uh, it's probably going to be next week before I put up another video. See if we can get us, I can get us back onto a regular schedule putting out the videos. Um, so yeah, that's what we got going on right now, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe, and we'll see you when we see you.